Hello all and welcome to this unboxing of a classic console, it's the PlayStation DualShock Edition. So I haven't looked up any details about this so far, so I don't really know a lot about it, but I mean it's basically just a PlayStation, it's the DualShock one, so it's not the original PlayStation, it's the one that sort of came out later after they introduced the DualShock. If I remember correctly, the first actual game that had specific DualShock functionality was Ape Escape. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100%, that's something I'll need to look up, but um, it's definitely the first game I ever got that needed the DualShock controller because um, it sort of came together as a package. You know, before we open this up and see what's inside, let's have a wee look at the box. So, front's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You know, we've got PlayStation, DualShock and some contents. What I think is the best part about it is the back, which is all of the uh, the games and stuff like that that have been out. So you can tell that it's been out for a, a, a while because you've got quite a lot of games that sort of came along a bit later in the life of the PlayStation 1. So things like Tekken 3, Cool Borders 3, I mean we're talking three games in because Tekken, the first Tekken was a PlayStation 1 game so there's been at least two Tekken games since this console sort of came out, well, three technically. What games do we actually have on here? Gran Turismo, got that. Tekken 3, I've got that. World Cup 98, I don't have that. I don't have any football games. I, I, not that I didn't play them, I did play football games uh, back in the day, but those, those are the sort of thing you don't really keep. Because um, I'm not fucking worth anything. Uh, Crash 3, Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. Brilliant game, still got that. Buster Groove, not a game I ever really got into. I'm not big into dancing game. Uh, Tomb Raider 3, got that one. Spiral the Dragon. I don't know if I actually own any of the Spiral games, I don't think I do, but I have played that a lot and I can't wait for the Spiral remake actually that's coming out later on this year. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, absolute classic, got that a million times. Same goes for Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Formula 1 98, don't think I ever played that. I'm not a big racing sort of guy anyway, I like stuff like Mario Kart, but your sort of serious racers I'm not really that into. Um, even though I've actually played the majority of the Gran Turismo games. Uh, Treasures of the Deep, that one I've never actually heard of, which is odd, because PlayStation games I've played a bajillion of them. Um, so I've never actually heard of that one, but there you go. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Medieval, brilliant game. Uh, never had that one, but I have played it. Cooler World, again, great game. Playing as a wee ball, rolling around. Great fun. Cool Borders 3, um, Cool Borders games were great. My original PlayStation that I got came with Cool Borders 1, uh, Tekken, or Tekken 2, one of the Tekkens, and um, my uncle got me Actua Soccer, I think it was, and those were sort of the three games that I had when I first had a PlayStation. Then you've got the, the X-Files game there as well. What about the specs? So this is a banging console, it must have some great specs, hey? Let's see what it says here. PlayStation is the most powerful CD-ROM based games console available. Exclusive state-of-the-art Sony technology creates a fully immersive gaming experience. CD offers unparalleled data storage, 650 whole megabytes, allowing longer, more entertaining gameplay. It delivers immense speed, stunning graphics and superb CD quality sound. 16.8 million on-screen simultaneous colours. Full frame motion video at 25 frames per second, oh my god, 25 frames per second, god, can the human eye even see that many? Audio CD compatible and integrates fully into any amplifier or surround sound system, and fast growing games catalogue with over 250 games now available. So by the time that this one came out, there were already 250 games. Crazy. I'm not sure how many they were actually released in the sort of lifetime of the PlayStation. Uh, loads, I'm assuming it's well in the hundreds, maybe thousands. Right, well let's uh, crack this bad boy open and see what's contained within that. Actually, one, one last wee thing actually I should say. I love this stuff on the side, because you've got all the different peripherals that are available. So all the different controllers, memory card, the mouse, the multi-tap, the analog joystick link cable so you can link consoles together which never something I ever did and then obviously different cables as well the amount of different things you could get for this were 
looked great. So it's not sealed, so we're okay for opening it. If this was still covered in wrap or something like that, then I maybe wouldn't open it, but let's have a look. There's our controller. Clearly not in the original wrapping, but uh, right, the old classic DualShock controller. And that's the power cable. Very straightforward, you know, no conformers, no transformers, no nothing, just a cable with a thing that you plug into the back of it. One last thing in the box here. Yeah. Okay, that's us. Box empty. So there's our AV cable. I've already got like a bunch of these because the PlayStation 2 comes with them as well and I've got a couple of those. Uh, so good to have that. Oh, it doesn't come with a scarf piece though, which is disappointing. I don't think that's actually the right one because that's not what it says in the box. In the box it says it's an aerial one. Yeah, so I don't think that's the one that actually came with it. Originally, instruction manual there. We'll go through that in a second. There's the the main event, the actual PlayStation One console in all its glory. Such a sturdy V machine as well. So you can see the different ports on the back there. The one for things like um, what you call them. Uh, it's like a cheap cartridge. So you put a cheap cartridge on there. I used to have one of those. Um, different inputs, your power as well, of course, and all our buttons on the front, so we can go open it up. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it's even got a wee spring. I don't think it's supposed to have a wee spring. <laughs> Has this been chipped? Hmm. Hmm. That's not supposed to be there. That's only for if you're chipping a PlayStation that you need the spring, unless that's changed. That's dodgy. Hmm. Hmm. Better work. All right, let's have a wee look at the instructions then. This bag is already kind of half been ripped open. Is a bit weird. Let's see what's this? What's this bit? Free demo disc. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. Don't know if I want to keep that or put that up in my poster wall because that's pretty smart. So that's your demo disc there, demo one. It's got uh, Abe's Odyssey, Hercules, Life Force Tanker, Porsche Challenge, Rage Racer, Rapid Racer, Kurushi, and Overboard. And it's got technical stuff, Dino, Manta, and VCD, and then it's got videos of Soul Blade and Roscoe McQueen. Some of the best games around, I don't know so much about that. Abe's Odyssey is pretty good, but mm, the rest of those are so so. <laughs> well, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go and see what it's like. What's this? This is like a postage stamp so you can send it back. Okay. And of course, the, the instruction book. Sad. I think it's already ripped anyway. We might as well just rip it all the way. We'll keep the plastic just because it'll help maintain the integrity of the stuff in here. But uh, there you go. PlayStation manual. Classic old school PlayStation manual. Just black and white. Boom. Different languages. What's that bit? I think that's your guarantee. How long is this guaranteed for? Surely that's run out. It's been what, 20 years? Maybe more? Describes all the different buttons, <laughs> all the cables. Ah, there, there you go. Look, unpacking. It's supposed to have, so it's supposed to have the aerial adapter. It's supposed to have an AV connector plug, which it doesn't. That's missing. Oh no, it's not. Doesn't come with the AC unless it's a European one, because this is this is Euro. Let me have a look on the actual console. Does it say European? It shouldn't. No, it doesn't say that it's European. I, I reckon. I just reckon we've been sort of messing around with this one. Uh, check that you have the following items: console, controller, two, memory card. There's no memory card. There isn't two controllers, and there isn't a console. This is the wrong instruction book. This is the wrong instruction book. This isn't the right one. I know that that cable's wrong, because that's the, the box definitely says that it's an aerial cable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I prefer this cable. The aerial cable 
picture quality is absolute garbage and it's impossible to tune it into a new TV but at the same time I want what I, I want my original, I want what I paid for. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong the wrong instruction book because this is the DualShock edition. If it was the DualShock edi edition it would have the DualShock edition instructions. Um, so these are the, the wrong instructions and I reckon the demo disc is probably the wrong demo disc. So I can't actually find that information of whether I've got the wrong stuff or not or if it was just that's the way it was manufactured and sort of given out the wrong um, instruction booklet but it seems like the instruction booklet is either completely wrong so it's the wrong ones being put in the box or PlayStation or Sony when they first put them out they totally fucked it up I have no idea either way um, it's kind of hard to tell unless I can get my, whole, my hands on another one uh, so what we're going to do anyway we we'll set it up just now set it up on the big TV give it a go and have a wee look at demo one see what sort of gear we've got going on here That iconic Sony sound, fucking brilliant. Yeah, so this is the menu of um, sort of later PlayStations. The older, sort of first started PlayStations had like a grey menu. It was wasn't very nice to look at at all. Um, so yeah, that they just sort of made it a bit more colourful. I think there's a bit less functionality on this, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I know that with the old ones, if you put like a game in and went straight into the CD player, you could a lot of the time listen to tracks from the game, sort of just depending on what that game was. It's not spinning. What's going on? Because of this spring. It wasn't spinning because of this spring. Now that's not supposed to be in there. Demo 1. I don't remember if I ever had a Demo 1. I don't think so, because I don't really remember playing quite a lot of these games. Oh wow, the demo actually has like an opening cutscene. It's quite uh, janky. Is it meant to be? I do remember seeing this demo actually, I remember this video, now that I think about it. Only it actually worked and wasn't jumping all over the place. Oh yeah, that's a funky beat. You know what, I absolutely do remember this now. Now that I've got it open. This menu looks so familiar. God, it's been so long. The nostalgia. I don't know if I had this exact one though, but I had something with a similar sort of menu and everything. This is quite cool. Rapid Racer, that's Jet Skis. Jet Skis, Road Racer, Course Challenge. I don't know what Life Force Tank is, let's give that a go. The CD appears to be dirty. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. Please, 
Correct. Oh, here we go. Let's take it out. It shouldn't be dirty. I can't take it straight out of the packet. It has never been used. Dirty or damaged. Maybe it's not the CD. Maybe it's the PlayStation. Maybe I've been sold a lemon here. See, this is why you don't buy your PlayStations off the back of a fucking van. Gonna have to reset. Try it again. So I couldn't get Life Force Tank at work, so we're playing Kurushi instead. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Destroy the squares without getting flattened. This game is weird. I have no idea what just happened. Game over. Do I need to destroy the green ones? Is that is that what I need to do? 700. Okay. IQ, zero. No, my IQ is over 140 because I'm a genius. See the video in the top right hand corner. And you'll see why I'm a genius, okay? Well, that was an exciting game. Let's uh, let's go back and let's have a wee look at the tech stuff because I'm not really sure what those are. Dino, Manta, and whatever VCD is. Dino. Oh, I remember this now. Now that I think about it, yeah, it's like oh, you do something with the dinosaur, you like move it around or something. Aye, right, so this isn't really a game per se. It's more just like fanning around with sprites it's like it's as if it's like a tech demo kind of thing so i don't know what the dinosaur itself is actually from oh yeah i remember this i had this before i, I definitely had a, either this disc or something like it um because i remember playing around with a dino you basically just pick it up move it around press buttons and it does stuff supposed to anyway. Hold on. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Look at his bum! Ah. So you can sort of revolve around him, make him move his wee head left and right. Boop, boop. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a T Rex. I like to walk. Bear's teeth. Ah, uh, my name is. Fred, I want to eat your children. Please can I have a liver snap? Rawr. That's pretty much all there is to it, to be fair. It's just, <laughs> you can move them around. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, eat me. I'm going to eat your face. Nom, 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 nom. That's pretty much it. How'd you get out? I think I just accidentally got out by pressing start or select or both together. The Manta Ray one is very much the same except it's a Manta. You sort of move it around. Let's see what else there is on here. VCD, virtual CD. I think all that is, um, you sort of replace the disc with a CD and it runs software. So it's like, Patterns and things, that's kind of boring. I'm not going to do that. Um, 
with some movies so we can either see the demo for Roscoe McQueen, which I remember that, it's like a few firefighter dude, or we can watch the trailer for Soul Blade. Make your choice now! Congratulations, you picked Soul Blade. Kinda the opening cutscene. Except the videos don't want to play very well on this. I don't know if it's the console or if it's the disc. I'll have to um, try running them on my PC for an emulator to see if they still see if they work. If they work on the emulator, then it's the it's the console on the discs. Or try it on one of my PS2s. Okay, well that's enough of that. Yeah, I think we thoroughly explored the demo. Um, obviously we could play some more of the games, have a look at some of the other stuff, but I think that's that's plenty. So that's it, the unboxing of the PlayStation 1 DualShock Edition. Um, not sure if what we got was entirely the DualShock Edition. The contents of the box didn't quite match up with what the box actually says it are. I don't know if that's a fuck up in the factory and that's just the way they actually came out or if whoever put this back together because obviously it's been opened before has just totally fucked up or just threw in stuff that does work or at least should work um, but isn't actually the right stuff it's not the original stuff that came with it uh, the demo disc one I don't think that's what's supposed to come in that because if you read the box it actually says it's a free demo disc inside featuring SoundScope. So, there's nothing on here called SoundScope. Um, so I don't even think this is the right demo. Because this came in the bag with the, the instruction booklet, which isn't the right instruction booklet. So I don't think that is a factory fuck up. I think it is that someone's put these together, even though they're not the right things. So I'm a little disappointed in that. I, th I think this is a bit suspect. The... Um, spring because normally what that was used for was for if you had a chip playstation you would put the wee uh, spring in and that would make the chipped games work like the copied games and i'm not exactly sure why i don't know that i don't know the science behind it or anything but that's basically what that was for and that was in the playstation when i pulled it out of the box so i don't know if it is chipped i don't think it is um, usually you can tell but it doesn't look to be chipped um, the videos on this were a bit jumpy and obviously Life Force Tenka didn't load so I don't know if that's just a, if that's a problem with the disc or if that's a problem with the PlayStation. Shouldn't be an issue with the disc unless the disc is like degraded or something because this was sealed. That's still got the sticker on it. That had never been opened until I opened it just now which um, maybe I shouldn't have done. But it's a demo disc, it's not really worth any money. I've had a look on eBay and you can get these for like a pound. Uh, so. Yeah, I would say I'm, I'm disappointed that it's not exactly what was advertised. It's not the correct stuff in the box that it should have been, but it was worth it. I mean, it was either this, I had this as an option for £35, or I had an option for a completely unboxed one uh, for £25, which was pretty much the same idea, except the, this one came with the demo disc came with the instructions, the, the wrong demo disc and the wrong instructions but it's still some instructions and some kind of a demo disc which I wouldn't have got for the £25 option and it comes with the box and the box is really cool, I mean you've seen that, I think that looks great. So for an extra 10 quid, I would, I would say that's worth it even if it's not exactly what it was supposed to be. Um, but I'm just glad I've got, a, I've got a PlayStation 1, an actual PlayStation 1 that I can put on a shelf and look all pretty and I've got a million games for it as well. Although I'll probably just play them on my PS3, but because that's easier, and it has like infinite memory cards. But hey, it's, it's nice to have all the consoles. I I do collect them, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm just happy. So thanks so much for for watching this video. I've recorded quite a lot of footage for this, so I don't know how long this has been. Uh, probably quite a long one, um, which it is okay because we're exploring the PlayStation One again. You know, it's been like twenty something years since the PlayStation came out, and um, it's nice to look back. And see where we came from because now that we're on PS4 you know the PS5 is probably right around the corner you know they haven't announced 
it yet or given us any looks at it yet, but we know that it's in development. You know, they've already sort of said PlayStation 5. Um, well, they haven't actually said PlayStation 5, I don't think. They've just said PlayStation 4 has got about two or three years left. Um, and then obviously Sony are going to do a new console after that, which will be the PlayStation 5. And I'm assuming that'll have all kinds of VR and all sorts of stuff ready to go for it. So it's nice to just have a look back in the past and have a look and see where we came from. And I have to say, you know, with the PlayStation 1, um, not the first console I ever owned, you know, my first console that I had was a Master System or a Mega Drive. And the first console I owned was, um, it's hard to say, I'm not exactly sure which one was the first I owned, but we, we did have a Commodore 64. I'm not sure if we had that before or after we had our Mega Drive and our Master System, or if we sort of got that afterwards because it was sort of floating about and it was just, it was a video games, it was more video games to play because um, we were right into it, at least I was, and my brothers were a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll have to ask my dad about that because he'll have a better memory of that than I will from the time because I was like two or three or something. I, I was really young when I started playing video games. And here I am today, you know, almost 30 years later and still playing my video games. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Wii unboxing and technical playthrough of the demo on the PlayStation 1. Uh, it's been fun for me. I've, I've enjoyed this. I'm probably not actually going to use this PlayStation 1 for much, to be honest. I probably won't use it to play any games. Um, but that, that box, I love the box and I, I love all of that. So it's probably going to sit uh, on a nice shelf somewhere looking pretty. And the demo disc though, I'll keep that out because I'll play with that. I like the wee dinosaur thing, that's cool. <laughs> so I hope you all have yourselves a great day. Enjoy the video. Remember to like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, etc, etc, etc. And uh, just take it easy, watch some more vids, and I uh, hope you have yourselves a great fucking day. Cheers.